what else do we have to do then? We got the Volcanic Crater, Mountain Pass. Oh yeah, we could go back to Mountain Pass. That might be worth doing now. Just because it's sort of out of the way and I don't want to bother doing it later. So jump, jump, jump. Oh my God, we're making it. I always gotta focus a lot on the uh, the bridges where you'll just fall right through. We'll go to the uh, Mountain Pass now, the place we were already at before, but now I'm more prepared. I have my eco vent open, which means of course that I I'm able to get that secret. This is actually a cool secret too. I don't know what it is, it just makes me excited. This is a cool looking secret. I mean, look at it, I don't know. It's just cool, okay? Everyone else is gonna make it's no big deal, Zebra, but I, I think it's awesome, okay? Also, what else are we missing? I know we're missing a couple orbs. I hope that we can get them all no problem, but if not, we can now drive through this area with no stress, so we could literally just go inch by inch over the entire area and not have to worry about winning a race or anything, which is great. Right, let's go, let's go. Let's go. There's the exit, as you can see. Ow! Pain, agony, all of the above. Let's try that again without dying. I mean, usually that only takes one damage, just we only had one health left. We're also, yeah, we got all the seven scout flies here. I don't know why, but sometimes I think there's eight. Maybe because because in Mario 64, don't you have to get eight red coins? And the scout flies are basically this game's version of red, red, uh, red coins. Uh. Oh boy, oh, oh boy. No, wow, okay, they are insta-kill. I gotta go slower then. Oh, that's the worst. So I'm just not gonna touch the blue eco this time. Big jump, you gotta press the jump button for that. If not, you're not doing it right. Or maybe you are, but I feel like you have to. So I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm gonna avoid the blue eco if I can, just that way I don't because this jump obviously isn't really meant to take backwards. Not this jump, this turn. This is very easy to run into those things. I have a need for speed. A little bit too much of a need, seeing how I just end up falling off or running into explosive. Oh, okay, no, that's all 50 of them. I thought there was a couple in the secret area, but I guess I'm wrong. I don't mind. That means I have another thing completed. But if we go over here, as you can see now, there is a yellow eco vent available. And we shoot this field. Yeah, we can shoot it while we're on here, which is nice, because there's a little rock right here. I never figured this out when I was young. Please don't hit that, thank you. And then in here we just make this jump, and we got it! Awesome. Ooh. So that's this area completed as well, right? You bet, okay. Oh wow, interesting, defeating Claw, the boss we did earlier, actually is a a power cell that counts for Mountain Pass. I guess that makes sense, it is technically in uh, the Mountain Pass range. I just always thought it was more of a uh, the, the, the mountain village or whatever it's called. All right, uh. Okay, so we should be good to go to the next area, which is gonna be the spider caves. Not really looking forward to that, but it'll be fun. Some areas in the, in this, in the caves are fun. Some areas, not so much. We also have enough for, uh, what's it called? We have enough for, I'm pretty sure. No, 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 we need 14 more. 14 more and then we're good for the uh, dude man. No. Ah. Well, we get to go over this way, which we haven't seen too much. This is where we find the spider caves. And it's also a fun little. Uh... Hey guys, oh, by my oh, no, calculations, she's gonna talk. it's Never going mind. to take 72 power cells to fuel the heat shield against the lava on the way to Gaul and Maya Citadel. Don't worry, we already have 72. I think we had 72 going into this area. We should play Need for Speed. I don't know if I'd enjoy it too much. I don't play too many car games, but maybe at some point. So we aren't gonna go down that way just yet. There's a really, really difficult, uh, or maybe do we, go, do we go down that way yet? No, I think we go down this way. I wasn't getting that mixed up. By the way, we have this here. Yep, there's five of them. There is a difficult, oh yeah, this is the lava tube. Okay, that's not what I meant to do, but I'm trying not to burp. I burp, no. Okay, uh, so we don't go down that way just yet. Instead, we're gonna ride these minecarts all the way down to the other side. It's like we're playing Minecraft, except not. I mean, those two miners were playing more Minecraft than we were. Where's the comfort for my species? I'm sorry. Okay, so we do have to ride these things a little bit if we wanna get all these orbs. How many orbs do we have in total here? Just 50, so this will count as a good chunk of them. But there's a really tough uh, power cell to get here. We'll see it soon. Um, I'll probably take. I'll probably try to get it on my way out of Spider Cave. We should be able to finish Spider Cave today. That shouldn't be too difficult. I would hope. 
But we get to get all these, hooray! <laughs> this takes a while. You can walk across this, sort of, kind of, but if you fall in the gaps, you're gonna end up falling. So it's pretty easy just to not do that and just wait on these. That way I'm not dying and I have to run over here over and over again. Either way, um, just gotta wait. Just gotta wait. And go! Yeah, okay. So I need to get over here. This is gonna be not the final one. Where's the final one? It's the sixth one. So we're still missing one more. I think it's more in the entrance of the lava tube, but I could be wrong, and if so, I don't know where it is. But I think we'll find it. Sooner or later, we'll find it. This is where the super difficult, there's a power cell in there. Oh, here it is. Oh no, it's right here, easy. Okay, cool, I'll take it. I didn't remember there being one there, but there is, and now there's not because we have it, it's ours. And is that every, no, that's definitely not every, because um, there's gonna be at least another set of scout flies in the spider caves, and there's all the ores for Volcanic Crater. But yeah, we'll get that one power cell that's in that metal crate on our way out, just because it's so annoying to get. I'd rather wait and bother with it later. Oh boy. It's actually, even though there is a couple spiders, you see a lot more of, ow, other things. These guys just shoot evil purple goo, but there is a lot of dark eco in this area. A lot of it. Very easy to fall and die. I mean, dark eco and lava really aren't too different in this game. You just fall on it until you die, except for in dark eco, you have the chance of popping out like Daxter. I mean, I guess it's pretty lucky of him. Everybody else who falls in dark eco seems to just die. He doesn't. He has the gift. So I mean, in all, all reality, he should be happy he's alive. But this area is very sprawling. There's usually multiple levels to it, so you have to travel up and down a lot. But another big goal is that these little worms that are eating away at this, I guess these posts, I guess these posts keep the whole cavern up. And that's why we want to destroy them is because we don't want the cavern to fall. Um, so we're gonna have to destroy these guys. So every single like little tree thing has some of these like termite guys that we have to destroy. They also drop power orbs, or not power orbs, precursor orbs. So we're also gonna have to return to them. Oh my. But some of them have even more than one, so you wanna make sure you get every single one of them, or you ain't getting that power cell. There's also a, uh, oh, you know, can I get this from here? Yes, I can, that'll be easy. Will that still drop a, it does not drop a power cell, not yet. But I think if you destroy all those explosive crystals, maybe eventually it drops a power cell, I can't remember. Um, Or maybe they're just obstacles. I really, really can't remember. Um. Let's get that, no, nope. let's get that. And let's try to damage these guys up if I can. All right. So we're getting a couple of them, but there's a lot more to get. I think I'm gonna take this one and bring it over there. And just slowly, there's a lot of, like you could just sort of peck away at for this area. Dot is making a bunch of noise, that silly little kitty. Can I get these guys? I think there's only one on this one. There might be two, actually. Got him a little bit. Oh, these guys don't forget. Oh, he went into the hole. There should be, yeah, there's another one right there. So I'm not too worried. And I'll get these. I don't think these yet have anything special. It's usually just green eco in those. Okay, leave me alone. Please don't attack me. Oh, did he hit me? Oh, he has two HP? Ouch, didn't know that. Always I forgot it. Get rid of you, and that's, I definitely wanna get back over here, because he should drop an orb. Yep, there's one. Some of them just dropped one. But we're gonna have to go over everything again. I'm trying to make sure that the ones that are on these upper platforms, like not these ones, like these ones are on the ground floor. I'm not really too worried about missing out on getting the orbs for those, because we gotta go down there anyways, but these guys on the upper platforms, like this and that, I wanna make sure I get those orbs now so I don't have to get back up here again. Because that's just a pain in the booty. Okay, where is he gonna pop out on? I think over here? I got him a little bit, I gotta hit him one more time. Uh, Go for it. Got it. Okay, wow, that was a lot of them. I think there was still one over here though. That guy's gonna be a pain in the butt to go back and get. I might wanna go do that now. But yeah, these guys, this might be one of my least favorite power cells in the game. It's very time consuming and tough to do, but it's worth doing. I mean, even if it didn't give you a power cell, which I'm pretty sure it does, uh, it still gives you the orbs that you need. Got him. Okay, that was a pretty easy one, actually, getting over here. We'll have to return back the one way. There's some confusing platforming stuff over here that I might as well get started on. There's a whole bunch of moving platforms that are just easy to miss. 
and to fall off from. And there's only a couple orbs you can get from it, so it doesn't really feel worth it, but you gotta do it. I think that's everything. So we have a lot of like looping around to do then. But I can start with some of this ground stuff. I guess I wanted, I was gonna end up going to the ground area and go back up anyways. Great, great. But that's fine. You live and you learn, right? Now I know the more optimal speed run route for when I never do a speed run of this game. Okay. Oh, hey, leave me alone. Oh wow, they make babies? I didn't know they did that. Holy cow, I've never let these guys live long enough that they make babies. That is really creepy. I mean, I know we run into- Good night. We run into some more spider babies later in the level. I just didn't know they did that. Here, that is really interesting. You learn a little bit more about Jack and Max through every day you play it. Maybe. Eventually, you'd have to learn everything. I mean, by, I guess it's a matter of elimination. Either way, let me get up here, because I do see this orb. And then, oh, I got all of them, I think so. Let me get this, and then try to get this guy. I'm not gonna be able to in time. There's another option, or opportunity for him, though. There's another power cell up there. A couple different options, but for this guy, I'm gonna wanna turn around. Or maybe not, and that might not be the best idea. Or is the one that shoots green beams? I'm not sure. Hopefully somewhere. Okay, got that. And then, where are you at, dude? Oh, I missed him. Got him, okay. So, that would not drop any orbs? Ooh, I'm very non-believing in that. This area over here should be a dead end, so we might as well do this now, also, while I can. Perfect, okay, that was good. So that should explode. That has a very Crash Bandicoot-type noise to it. Definitely sounds like the TNT crates. Oh, I do need the yellow eco for this, so let me go back and try to get some yellow eco to take care of those boxes, because that's just what you gotta do. So I should be able to do that, and then, oh, yeah, I made it, I made it. Oh no, oh, I almost fell on that. That would have been bad. So we can go in here, get rid of all of that. That's good. So we're making some good progress with the spider cave so far. Okay, so we do have to go across there, and I think the only way to get across here is by roll jumping. Oh, oh gosh, and then there should be another one of those loud crystals. Yep. Is this the last one? This might be the third. No, it definitely isn't. That crystal's kind of Is there anything down there? There's not. We do have to destroy all of those, so sooner or later, right? Oh. Okay, we made it, we made it. Hmm, so now we have other crystals we need to touch, but for a good reason, because they light up the place. And here are some baby spiders, and some mama spiders too. You know, I wouldn't attack them, they didn't attack me, but they do. All right, so there might be a fair amount to easily miss. That was really awkward. <laughs> Luckily, the checkpoints aren't awful in this area, especially for these, you know, like little sections that are sort of off the main area. Hit a crystal to get some light. I know, don't worry. There's just a huge pool of dark eco there. Yeah, th this area is very uh, uninhabited, so it's very easy to fall in the dark eco, but also, yeah, if anybody was to mine in this area, it'd be very dangerous. So there should be another dark eco crystal. Got it, move it, move it, move it, move it. All right, did that drop anything? I don't think it did. Yeah, I think there's at least one more Dark Eco Crystal. But once you break all of them, out comes a Power Cell. And then there's another Scout Fly that I would gladly grab if the game lets me. Whoa, that was a little weird. It was like not letting me go any farther. Grab it, four. So we need three more of those. Oh gosh, it's dark. Oh wow, it is really tough to see. I like how Jack is unaffected. He is just totally visible. He just, he just, just beams brightness. He's a beacon of hope. Very, very bright and beautiful. All right, oh, got it. I could probably <laughs> not do that. That's not what I wanted to do. They don't give me much time on those platforms. I wanted to see if I can't roll jump off of them because I'm pretty sure you can. Because you can do stuff like that, like I just did there. All right, oh, okay. I gotta just turn on the light. I am being silly. That's definitely the Ratchet and Clank sound for exploding crystals, that's interesting. I wouldn't be surprised if they, they shared some sound assets. 
I don't remember what crystals you break in Ratchet and Clank, but I'm sure there definitely are some. Got it. Oh, unless you mean like the rare titanium. Well, I don't think you do. This reminds me of Crash. It de Crash, it definitely does have some like good Crash related things. I mean, this was the first game they made after they made Crash 1, 2, 3 in racing. So definitely, you sort of see that with the transition of Naughty Dog games. It's sort of a bit of a gradient. You know, you got the Crash games, then you have Jack and Daxter, and then in Jack and Daxter, they get a little more serious, and then Charted, and then it becomes The Last of Us, and it's very, very serious. So it definitely, you can see how that progresses. Okay, so that might have been a huge mistake. Okay, I'll take it. That was a bit cheesy, but I'll definitely take it. A, a win's a win, right? This is also another one I could just, Oh, almost miserably fell and have to do everything over. Oh man, it is scary. That's what I love about this game is that if you're platforming well enough, you can skip some stuff or you can just do things a little bit differently. And that's always fun. Okay, so I don't think there's anything up here. You can't even grab onto the sledge. Oh, is that the ceiling? I don't think so. Whoa, oh, the lights turned off. That was a little weird. That happened at a perfect time where I was like about to look out into the distance. Very crazy area. That's all it has to offer. Oh, I, was, I thought I was supposed to hop off there. I'm not. Okay. Physics, where are you at? I don't know where the physics are, but I don't care. Oh boy. Ow. <laughs> I don't have to start back where I was. Oh, no I don't, cool. Shortcut, speedrun strats. Probably, yeah, that's probably faster than having to do it normally. Anyways, we have some more yellow eco here. We need to take care of these guys. There should be some going through this log that I don't think we've destroyed. Or maybe I'm wrong. Some of these logs definitely should have more. Oh, there you go, we got this guy. Where is he gonna be? He's gonna be making his way down. Right there. Got it, and then, got it. Okay. Oh, that's all of them. Okay, so that's good. We don't have to worry about it anymore. We don't have to be worrying about missing them or anything like that. Because now we know we got them all. Got it, okay. Oh, there's so many different orbs you can miss so easily, like these ones I missed down here. And fall to my doom. Okay, I respawn here. That's good, actually, because then I can just go back over here and miss that, get that one orb I missed. We have plenty of things to pick up at this point. Grab that. I like how these sort of just go through the precursor orb, sort of. Maybe they don't. Maybe that was just a weird angle. Yeah, they don't. Can I get this, please? There we go. <laughs> okay. Got these two. It's a really crazy area, because you do a lot in just like such a short amount of, like a small amount of space. It's just this room is very crazy. All right, we need to uh, almost fall to our doom again. Please don't attack me. Please leave me alone. But there is a power cell up here. And then I think that's everything for this big room. I think it's just about everything here. So much, but I think it's just about everything. Um, now I can plop down. Oh gosh, and fall to my noob again. <laughs> I gotta stop doing that. It popped out again. It's funny. All right, so get these, just like that. There's a couple more orbs, a couple more of this and that and everything. This has so much stuff happening, I definitely agree. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, this game's very nostalgic for me too, though. It's just, oh, I love playing it. So I don't think there's anything up there. I know the spider's about to spit at me. Maybe I should go up there and check just in case. No, there isn't anything. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, there is. There, I'm glad I checked because there's this right here. Good old, oh. And that is five? Yep, that's five. So we have two more of those to find. I'm definitely positive we'll find them. Uh, plop down here. Uppercut you. Yeah, there we go. How are we doing on orbs, by the way? Oh, wow, we have a lot more to find. We have 140 left to find. I mean, there's still a lot more to the spider caves we gotta do. Okay, so I need more yellow eco for this part, too. Uh, how to get those down? I think the best way, yeah. It's a little out of the way to do this, but I need to go back up there, because there's one that's on like the top layer that we should be able to get, or this one. I mean, there was maybe a better way to do that, but it should still be enough. I don't need a ton of time, as long as I don't fall to my doom. Yeah, and if we roll jump, we'll be fine making it. Okay, I wanna be able to finish the spider cave today. We'll have to see. 
because I definitely want to be done flying today by midnight. Maybe oh, here we go. Shoot better if you aim through your goggles. I know, I know. Just let me do it. Thank you. And I think that's I all think of them. That was the last dark eco crystal. It was because I died. <laughs> I got stuck on nothing. That's fine. That's fine. It's still here. And there's another one. A lot of power cells in a short amount of time. That's what it seems to be something. I don't know. Maybe it's just the way I'm playing, but. I'll, like, not get any for a while, and then I'll get a bunch in just a short amount of time. Oh my, can I land on that little rock? I cannot. It's fine, we made it, we made it. Now we can bounce on over this way. These little platforms remind me of the platforms from Pac-Man World. There are some, like, little spider web platforms in that game or something. I can't remember. The original uh, Pac-Man World for PS1 and stuff like that. Oh, this guy's not fun. And you just digging and digging, and then eventually, his Joel stuff's working, and that's when you go for him. But these are the guys ruining the mines that the miner wants us to stop. I mean, he doesn't give us anything for it. He just asks us to. Okay, well, I'm falling into my doom again. <laughs> so much doom. I respond right here. But hey, here it is. This is the other giant robots. So they were about to get two of them. And we stopped them at the swamp. Will, they, will we stop them here? Man, I don't know. But that's really crazy. So their plan is to get a bunch of giant robots and watch Jack fall into the dark eco and laugh at him. All right. Yeah, a lot of people say that uh, they play this game and Ratchet and Clank, which is funny because, you know, Ratchet and Clank made by Insomniac. Uh, same thing with Spyro, and a lot of people played Crash and Spyro, which was made by Naughty Dog, so it's just a fun pairing. Okay, so let's go like that. I think we're in a spider's nest here. I, I, I've noticed, Daxter. I've noticed by all the spiders. Can we get rid of all you? Oh, these guys also indefinitely. They're like the rats. They indefinitely come out. So I'm gonna have to get everything I can, but make it all so quick. Oh, oh, ah, ah. Leave me alone, you big bullies. You're not even big. Okay, you're just bullies. Okay, quickly, quickly, quickly. Got it. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Got it. That's good. No time to dance. We gotta get out of here. Okay. No! Ah, oh, I don't know if I have to jump through there or not. I think I do. Well, uh, better you than me. Are you sure about that, Dax? Or who's saving the world here? Us. We're a team. Not just you or me. Us. Oh, come on. What happened to my double jump there, too? I think we gotta go through that again, though. That was silly. We were so close to making it. I need to just make sure I mean, I might be wrong, but I one of those things. Better safe than sorry. We can actually charge through this pretty quick, though, if you're just focusing on, yeah, I can see them up there. So it's good to make that call. Ow. Let's it's his ending area here. that's just a little clustered. Let's get out of here. I would love to. Oh, and this guy's back. Great. All right, buddy. You're gonna come over here. Your drill's gonna stop working, and then I'm gonna get you. See? Happens every time. Oh. <sighs> Oh my, oh my. <laughs> Gotta be careful. But yeah, now we're actually good to start this big old area. And this is gonna be very time consuming as well. This is, I feel like this, take, this has been taking me more time than the ice caves. But at the same time, we haven't been here all the way yet. I mean, I feel like we've been to the ice caves longer than we've been here. But I feel like in total it's gonna end up costing me more time. But that's fine. I'm not here to speed run. Yeah, this area is very scary. I can definitely agree that, like, I just, I got super scared. With I mean, I got scared with everything when I played this game. I've talked about it a lot, but everything would scare me. I mean, games in general can be pretty scary. I don't know, to me at the least. Oh, here's a bunch of orbs. This is really gonna fill up our 140 that we need. There are definitely a lot of orbs in this area that we'll end up grabbing. I might have to go back that way. Oh, does the platform not even lower here? It doesn't. So we don't have to worry about this. We can go back. How many do we have now? Okay, so yeah, we're making plenty more progress. I'm pressing all the wrong buttons, but hey, you can't press the right buttons unless you know which wrong buttons to press, right? That's not true. That is literally not true. Oh, this is not gonna be fun. Uh, oh no. So I don't know where this platform, will this platform lower all the way down? There's just so many things that are just very easy to miss around here. Get rid of you, thank you. And then get all you guys and this should be our second to last. Yep, second to last. And there's more down there. I think it'd just be easiest to plop down there and just grab them. If I can. Okay, oh no, I made it and then I didn't make it. Oh, 
All right, well then, you know what? It's probably just easier to cheese it. Yeah, okay, we cheesed it. Okay, that was good. Hmm. So we can wait here. I think this should also bring us up. It does, going up. We have gone up. Nothing to go this way, that's good. Eliminates one more thing we have to do. Oh, these guys. This guy, I don't know if he sees me, but I can just go around him really easy, so I'm not gonna, whoa, the game just lagged out big time. That was a little crazy. Kick, kick, good. We're back to collecting more orbs. Now this area over here, I always die a ton on, just trying to get these for whatever reason, but you do get a power cell out of it. We'll do that last, I think. It's really this maze of uh, scaffolding that we're trying to focus on now. They give you a lot of health around here, though. All right, so I don't wanna worry about that guy. Ow, game, why are you like forcing me off? Ooh. I don't know if there's anything must have around here. There's some health, so I'll take it. Hmm. Yeah, the, the way this area right here specifically is laid out is a little weird. We just gotta get up here. Yeah, this game, I don't know what it is. It's very similar to DK64 in feel. The actual game itself plays out a bit differently just because it's a different game. I feel like this game is definitely more similar to Banjo-Kazooie than it is DK64 in gameplay, but it's feel, it's definitely like, it's one of the only other 3D platformers that are super duper jungly is definitely DK64. I mean, I haven't played too far in DK64, but I've seen a fair amount of gameplay. I know it's super tough to 100%, so I'm not very interested in trying it. Cause it's like, you can't play a game like this and not want to collect everything, you know? All right, we got, oh, I, I could have missed one there. That would have been tough. I gotta be careful about that. I, oh, I, is, isometric views in a 3D game aren't fun. Oh, come on. Okay, you know what? If that's what we're gonna deal with, I might as well do this part next because I might be able to shortcut that if I'm smart enough about it. I need to plop down here and then jump up. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. So now this could just be tough because it's sometimes hard to control exactly where you're trying to go. Especially if you're trying to go backwards on these. You sort of have to change it up a little bit and then that can happen. So it's not the easiest thing in the world, is what I'm trying to say. All right, I think I got them all. But more importantly, we need to land on this platform. I need to get this. Okay, so let's see if I can't shortcut this so I don't have to do it as much. Got it. Or not. Oh no, hey, at least I made something. This will save me some time. Climbing all the way back up there wouldn't have been fun, so glad I was able to do that. Now here, I should be able to, please don't mess this up. Yep, okay, we did it. Oh. Okay. So we do need to land on this platform, just pick up some easy orbs. It looks like I got everything here. Oh no, there are some there. Keep that in mind. Those look actually pretty easy though. And then there's a bunch of things there. And so I don't know what's over here. So I'll try to figure that out now. Is this the right way to go or not? I mean, it looks like it's a way to go, but it's not the right way to go. I guess you're supposed to get that power cell plop down here and get this, but we'll do that. It is the last scout fly in this area. I think there are some scout flies in the final area. I'm almost positive. So, is that a giant mosquito? Sort of looks like it, but it's a giant robot. Got it. And uh, get across to here. Whoa! I want to try to make that, but I'm almost positive you can't. Almost positive. Maybe if I roll jumped off of this, but it's such a little space, it's tough to do. So I'd rather just not risk it and have to climb all the way back up here and just get the thing done normally for once. <laughs> I never do. Ooh, got it. I just have to try to keep going in one direction. It's just hard to do that. Got it. Nice, okay. Get all that. And I don't think there's any orbs on these ones. Oh wow, there might be actually. Let me try looking at the top of this one. There's not, but it will make getting those much easier. Okay, good. All right, all 200. Wow, that was surprising. They really did pick up the pace in that last area. And we get this. Is that everything? That might be everything in the area, which is actually pretty decent timing then. Yeah, cool. Let me take a look.
everything done in Spider Cave. Fantastic. So I guess we never really stop these guys from taking this giant robot. So I guess this is, you know, they take it. I mean, they're still digging it. We never really stopped the lurkers. Look at this dark amount of nothingness. A little creepy. But okay, we're good to get the heck out of here. I am so happy about that. I know the Jack and Daxter question, this isn't a Jack and Daxter question, but what is your favorite rhino? Honestly, I forget most of them because they all just sort of do the same thing. They they shoot a bunch of bullets. Uh, so I can't really say which one's my favorite because I always forget which each one does. It's different. They're all fun. You don't know how much I hate bees because of DK64. I probably don't because I don't remember bees being in DK64 because I, I said I don't really remember too much about the game. Okay. Let us get out of here. I'm so done with this place. We actually did that in decent time. I thought it was gonna take me a little bit longer in that final area. We did okay. It would've been cool if there was a boss fight in here. I feel like that, if there was any uh, kind of missed opportunity with the boss fights, having a boss fight here would've been really cool. Because there's just so few boss fights in this game. Oh, before I forget, the final lava pit area power cell should be up here if I can get up here. Well, it's not up here, but I need to get up here to get it. It's really tough to get. This is probably gonna take me a couple tries, but worth doing. So let me like roll through like that. Don't Im immediately do that. <laughs> well, okay. Now I got some practice in. Can I please get up here, game? Thank you. Okay, this is a little tough to do. But basically, I gotta get this yellow eco, get to the area outside of this, and then hit a uh, metal crate. Try to do that again, but don't land in the dark eco. Roll like that, roll like this. Could I do this on the second try? It's not the first try, but the second try would be good too. We gotta get up this, that, that, and then here, and then here, and then one more. Oh no, I'm not close enough. Can I just shoot? Oh, that didn't work, hold on. No, wait, oh no, it did work, hey! All of Wayne came in to save the day! Nice, okay, I sort of panicked a bit. I thought I was closer than I was and that really almost ruined me, but awesome! That means that we have almost everything in Volcanic Crater. We need to de deposit our 240 orbs to the Oracle and then we're done with Volcanic Crater and we can be good to get out of here. We're definitely not getting out of here today, but we'll finish this area up so that we can go through the lava tube next time we play. That is great, I am so happy about that. Bum, bum, boom, dun, dun, doo. I don't know why, but the, the rhythmic squeaking of the uh, minecarts always gets stuck in my head. Well, we just gotta ride this back, go all the way to that dude over there, and we got everything done here. <laughs> Zero with that aimbot. Not exactly an aimbot, just lucky auto aim. But maybe a bit of aimbot. It'd be weird if this game had aimbot. Especially since it's not online. None of the Jack games had online, which makes sense. I mean. Where would they fit the online in? I mean, hey, they could have had online jet boarding in Jack 2, that would have been cool. I mean, oh yeah, you know what? I'm wrong about that. Jack X had online. Unfortunately, I do not think the PS4 version has the online functionality. I've never really played far in Jack X. Definitely, I wanna play through Jack 2 and 3 this year. But Jack X, I don't know if I wanna play through. I might try it out. I've played it before. I've never beaten it. I was never too into it. I mean, really, I really haven't, I don't even know too much about the story with it. Maybe it's something we gotta give a shot at. If we like it, then awesome, we'll play more of it. But if not, we'll just move on. Seek the pure light, for within its flame, the answers reside. You can gain my power cells by bringing 120 precursor orbs for each. Done and done. Here you you go. have obtained another power cell. Yeah, he didn't have much to say that time. Usually he's pretty uh, full of words. I'm just like, here, just have it, kid. You've gotten plenty of these, I'm sure you get it. For your effort, a power cell is the reward. Okay. So we got both of those, which means we are done with this lava area. And that also means that we are probably done Jack and Daxter for today. That was awesome, I had so much fun. We made a lot of progress, almost two hours of Jack today. Which is, you know what, my uh, Scheduling error ended up being a, a good thing. <laughs> Next time we stream, hopefully we can beat the game. The last area is actually rather tough, but we'll worry about it then. We should have everything done here. We got the Volcanic Crater done. We got Mountain Pass totally done. Um, We got all the orbs here. All the orbs there. All the orbs there. Okay, so yeah, totally completed. Yeah, I guess it does say task completed at the bottom. 
Cool, 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 cool. So there's lurker troops in the mountains. No, don't worry, I took them out. 